Transient Flare here, and today we're going to install SKSE Skyrim Script Extender for The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Note that a Skyrim Special Edition SKSE version does not exist currently and is being worked on, but we have the original version here. The updated version will be called SKSE 64 because the, well, the only upgrade if you get the special edition is that it's 64-bit rather than 32-bit, meaning it can address more than 4 gigabytes of RAM on your computer. Anyway, that's not the point of today's video. Today we're going to install SKSE, so you can get it through Steam, you can get it with an installer, or you can get it through a 7-zip archive, because I've been this for a long time and I prefer a 7-zip archive, I'll do that. So, let's go here, click now navigate to your downloads so here you go downloads and note that I have two of the same there you go and now if anybody's afraid of a virus or something scan it with that and scan it with that semantic says nothing is found and Malwarebytes says nothing is found. Nothing is harmful about this file. You're fine. Now, since I have 7-zip, I will extract it this way. If you have uh, Windows versions kind of uh, crappy, sometimes you get the option to extract, sometimes you don't. It's not consistent, so I recommend you get 7-zip. So you extract files. You, I'll also extract here and you'll get this file. You don't need this anymore. Delete. And let's move this to the desktop. Okay. So in that file you'll see all this crap. Now, in the data scripts, you'll see all these PEX files and some other stuff in the source file. Now we're going to be we're going to be lazy and we're just going to copy data. We're going to copy this DLL, the loader and the steam loader. These are the files we want. This is this is what's new. This describes SKSE. This is some document file and this is another document file. Oh, and the source is for modders. So the files that are not highlighted in blue you do not need. So we're going to copy these or you can cut it. It doesn't really matter. And navigate to where you have steam installed. In this case it's on my hard drive. So WD Black and now the default install path is program files x86 and go over to steam scroll down to steam apps common and then you're gonna scroll down until you find Skyrim right here and you'll see all this crap so now paste yeah, so that's from the PEX files. And so now replace the files in the destination. You will only get this pop up if you have already installed SKSE in the past. If you don't have it yet, you won't see this because there are no overwrites or pending conflicts. Replace the files. Let that speed along. And you should be good. As you can see, I have my old Skyrim little shortcut here and as you can see it's going off the old SKSE loader so now what we want to do is we want to make an updated shortcut so if you go down here to SKSE loader and just click on see it here send to and then in this case let's send it to desktop so desktop create shortcut and once you've done that, let me close this. You'll have this nice little file. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So now, if you want to change the icon for this file, properties, and you'll see this. So this is the file path. Change icon. It'll give me a delicious error. Now browse. Wherever Steam is installed. 
x86, Steam, and this may be a little different. Steam games and choose the icon that you want. So I want this one for Skyrim. Okay. Okay. Delete this. And you can name it whatever you want. Thank you for watching. If you have further suggestions for content, please let me know. I am open for suggestions. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Enjoy Skyrim.